So we're in an old pump house for the Stanton Ironworks and I mean look, we've got various pump numbers and uh, even a turbo just there look, look at the size of that. Uh, we're on some sort of like, I mean that's like a little buggy look for transporting while well, well, that turbo's on. We're on like a steel flooring and concrete flooring. Ingersoll dresser pumps, they don't look that old but Clearly, as you can see, not used anymore. Look at that. Open and shut. So we've got ourselves an um, old workbench here, like vice, which does, it does still work. There you go. Yeah, opening, closing, that's pretty funny. And various other electrical cabinets. So we've got a date and a description lot, Stanton Vowels Limited, so that's a non-return, that means it goes just one way basically, and it's dated 1986, so only 34 years old this has been here, this little valve in particular. So probably a water filter is a purification unit. Uh, various dates on the pipe. The oldest one is that curved joint there. It dates back to 1959. Actually, we've got one there. It says 1934. Let's get a bit closer. 
I'm going to have to turn it upside down, you can see it. Can you see that? 1934. Wow. It's really that old. So, so this is that uh, little man-made reservoir, just outside the pump house, and that's the sluice gate. And that, in turn, would suck in the water, take it into the pump house, so it'd be pumped out, through into that water filtration unit, which is just down there, we've just been in, and then all the way over into the ironworks for production and whatnot. Right, so we've got a part of the internal railway system here. Look, there's some ballast. There's a set of uh, concreted points. That's a substation on the left-hand side. Now, the right split, the line splits into two. Now, this is a bit of a, a dead end look. So I'm thinking that this, as you can see, there's a brick building just there. It just starts with some old buffers there, look. And there's the supports there, look, look at that. And we think it was used for like maybe just a shunter, an internal shunter to stand and wait. And the other line back over here would make its way to this great big warehouse look for loading of whatever went off in there. Uh, inside what looks like some sort of, well, the generator room maybe, electrical equipment, looks all this stripped out. Only a little low light room with old windows at the back. That's pretty good. Uh, in the room as well, you can see these two great big platforms. Now this would have been this would have been to hold a generator. That's clearly gone, as you can see. What's over here? Wow! Look at that. Plenty of water down there, so that's flooded. Look, there's an entire floor down there. And by goodness, there's some stuff in there. That is huge. So I found some newspapers and it's uh, February the 12th, 2007 and the headline is a bit different to what we'd get nowadays, it's about Viagra. And Britain is set for a revolution as the first country in Europe to sell Viagra over the counter. Let's see what was going off in sport back then. So it was all about England cricket team, Bolton beat Fulham 2-1 and something to do with um, Wigan Athletic.
look at the size of this gas meter. We can still read it, look. I mean, this has got a date from the 50s, maybe. It stinks a bit. Some electrical boxes around here. Bird's nest as well, look. Uh, look at this. It's just equipment everywhere. Look how old, look how weird that is. It's some sort of device, isn't it? Somebody will know. Just found a doorway outside, so we'll come and see what there is. Yeah, so we climbed up one of the ladders. Big chimney, another big chimney. All pretty sturdy. We're gonna get back down again. Another ladder there. Not gonna go up that one. They used to scare the hell out of me when I was a kid. Don't know why, I just used to think they were like, um, like some attack war of the worlds or something. Right, gotta get back down there. So this has got CO2 inside it. I mean, you might not know, but it's for in the event of fire on site. And if the alarm sounds, you're not to go in there because CO2 is being discharged and it's effectively going to help put the fire out wherever it's located. And back inside, we've got a selection of digger grabs up. One, two, three, three of them. Look at that. That's just sat there. We're going to go up these stairs because they seem to go quite a long way, so there might be something pretty good up top. Wow. Oh man, there's a chair in it and everything. Look at this. Can't see out there anymore. Built in 1970, it says on the plate on the side. Wow, I means to think this was someone's everyday life. So this crane lot, this crane we've just been sat inside, runs all the way outside up, all the way out there. We'll get out there. I think we've already been out there to be honest. Um, that's phenomenal. I didn't think we'd be able to see this. I didn't even know it was here. I didn't expect it to be here. Let's have a look around the other side whilst being exceptionally careful. 5 tons, 13 tons and 5 tons again to even it out. With a limit of 10 tons on there. Another great big crane here, look. 
1982. Luxembourg, is that where it came from? I mean, the sheer noise that must have been here and the workforce. You just got to close your eyes for a moment and imagine the air defenders that would have been on. Um, you know, hard hats, high vis, the dust, the sound. It must have been atrocious at times, but it must have been like one big family once working here. Look at this, Electric Furnaces Visitors Viewing Station. You know, advising on eye, ear, helmet, protective clothing, sturdy footwear to be worn at all times. So this was one big viewing platform. Not that this light's really gonna pick it up that well, but when it was all lit up and noisy, it must have been phenomenal. Got ourselves an electric pump truck, look. Again, trying to see if it's got a date on it, but looks unlikely. Just one day that would have been parked up and never used again that was amazing i didn't know all this was still here um you know i used to live in trial about a mile and a half away the noise that used to reverberate around here unbelievable brilliant i hope you have enjoyed this look around some real real industrial heritage of stanton ironworks thank you very much for watching like subscribe comment below see you soon bye, -bye.